Breaking. Congressman exposing secret army program of spraying radioactive chemicals over U.S. cities. This, we're not talking about just uh, chemicals. We're talking about radioactive chemicals. October 9, 2017 report. According to army records, thousands of innocent Americans were subjected to poisonous chemicals through open air spraying, ingestion, and injection, including radioactive chemicals. The idea that the United States government purposefully sprayed, injected, and fed hazardous chemicals to countless Americans during the Cold War is one crazy conspiracy theory, quote unquote that has significant evidence behind it, and three members of Congress are finally demanding answers. Democratic Congressman William Lacey Clay of Missouri, Brad Sherman of California, and Jim Cooper of Tennessee all represent areas where Army records reveal that the U.S. government conducted secret testing of the zinc cadmium sulfide that included radioactive materials on vulnerable and poor populations. I'm going to read that again. They all represent areas, all represent areas where army records reveal that the U.S. government conducted secret testing of zinc cadmium sulfide that included radioactive materials on vulnerable and poor populations. The revelations, which included information about victims in the United States, the United Kingdom and even Canada were recently brought to light by author and professor Lisa Martino Taylor, Taylor in her book Behind the Fog, how the U.S. Cold War radiological weapons program exposed innocent Americans, end quote. I would venture to say, let me put in my comment here, that this is not only going on in the U.S., Canada and U.K., but all over the world where chemtrail spraying is taking place. Martino Taylor said she began researching the health effects of radioactive materials and tests on vulnerable populations without consent in St. Louis for her doctoral dissertation at the University of Missouri, Columbia. When she presented a colloquium on the preliminary research finding in September 2012, she said she was shocked by the attention it received. Quote, Many people from St. Louis and around the world were interested and concerned about the covert military studies that were the subject of my research, end quote. Marie Martino Taylor said, and she added, Now, five years later, I continue to receive inquiries. Behind the fog, that was the name of her dissertation, behind the fog is a result of five years of additional research that presents new findings, greater context, and additional evidence as to how the U.S. military exposed vulnerable populations to radiation and other harmful chemicals during covert testing to develop radiological weapons, end quote. Martino Taylor told the Associated Press that her research was based on Freedom of Information Act requests that were used to obtain previously unreleased documents and army records, along with public records and published articles. So it was also it was Freedom of Information Act uh, uh, declassified documents, as well as everything that was already out there. She said she discovered that a small group of researchers quote worked to develop radiological weapons and later combination weapons using radioactive materials along with chemical or biological weapons end quote. They targeted, as she goes on to say, they targeted the most vulnerable in society in most cases. Martino Taylor said, they targeted children. They targeted pregnant women in Nashville, Tennessee. People who were ill in hospitals. They targeted wards of the state. And they targeted minority populations, end quote. This is shocking, but we have to read the article. And this, As we said, this uh, article is dated... Uh, the day before yesterday, October 9th. So it's a recent development. So they targeted minority populations, she went, uh, we, we said, when fields in St. Louis were sprayed with chemicals that included radioactive materials in the 1950s, Mary Helen Brindell, who is now 73, 
told the AP that she was aware of a squadron of green planes flying low overhead while she was playing a baseball game with friends and covering them all in a fine powdery substance that stuck to skin. This is unbelievable. Since then, Bridell said she, she has suffered from, quote, breast, thyroid, skin, and uterine cancers, end quote. And her sister died of a rare form of esophageal cancer. She said, I just want to exp an explanation from the government. Why would you do that to people? And we're talking about their own people, not a foreign people, their own people. In 2012, dissertation, the dissertation from Martino Taylor's research generated so much attention that the army launched an internal investigation and not surprisingly concluded that they had done nothing wrong and no one's health was at risk. Wow. Martino Taylor told the AP that the offensive radiological weapons program was, quote, a top priority for the government, end quote, and they tested it on, quote, unknowing people at places across the U.S., as well as parts of England and Canada, were subject subjected to potentially deadly material through open air spraying, ingestion, and injection. Injection, of course, is by vaccines, right? Injection, end quote. The testing included a variety of vic victims from thousands of poor, pregnant women in Nashville, Chicago, and San Francisco, who were unknowingly given a mixture that included radioactive iron on their first prenatal visit to thousands of students who were subjected to radiation fields, quote unquote, that were created at various high schools and universities in California. In response, a spokesperson for Congressional Cooper's office told the AP that it is seeking more information from the Army Legislative Liaison. Quote, we are asking for details on the Pentagon's role, along with any cooperation by research institutions and other organizations. These revelations are shocking, disturbing, and painful, end quote, he said. Congressman Sherman said he's seeking additional information from the Department of Energy and he wants a survey of people who graduated from the schools using the radiation field testing to see if they suffered from illnesses such as cancer. Well, we won't be surprised to find that they are. Going on with the article, Congressman Clay told the AP that he is reaching out to the House Armed Services Committee and demanding, quote, the whole truth about this testing, end quote, and why Americans were used as guinea pigs for research. The idea that the United States government could carry out testing on innocent Americans without their knowledge that would negatively impact them for the rest of their lives is sinister, horrific, and infuriating. I would say downright evil. And not only their lives, but their lives of their children and their children's children. But because there is significant evidence that it did occur, it serves as a reminder of the importance of raising awareness and demanding justice for all of the victims whose lives were impacted as a result. This article, Congressman Exposed, Exposing Secret Army Program of Spraying Radioactive Chemicals Over U.S. Cities, was originally published on the Free Thought Project, syndicated by the Event Chronicle. Thank you.